What's up, guys? So, a little update on the severely roughed up Alice. Now, um, I thought to myself, the best thing that I can do, really, is upgrade everything that I possibly can. Also, just for the fun of it, and simply because I have the necessary equipment, being uh, surface mount buckles. That's the only thing that could work um, in order to secure the pouches. The thing about it is, though, um, what it really needs is a set of straps to secure the uh, male end of the buckles with, uh, as well as the two main straps in order to secure the whole pack with. Now, uh, I kept thinking, I don't want to sacrifice good sets of straps for this project it's literally going to have to be um either done with everything that um that is sort of surplus you know that i don't really need um and that i don't need to source or pay money for so as i mentioned in the previous video i've already got the surface mount buckles and i'm looking for options for webbing now for the pouches. Uh, what I do have is a surplus of Coyote Brown straps that I could use. I just unstitched some uh, some more straps, the cheaper kind. They're, I mean, actually, they're, they're, they're decent quality webbing, but it's still the cheaper kind. However, um, they're kind of uneven. One is longer than the other, so I'd have to, what, sew one and like attach two pieces together to get one long one it's uh, it's it would be a little bit yeah you know it's already pretty messed up as it is i don't really want to have to um make it look like any worse than it already is plus it would entail more sewing so an extra cost so i thought to myself even though this is the you know in od this was originally the best candidate for the two main straps. Um, I'm not so sure that I want that. Also, uh, the only thing that I could do is use either Coyote Brown um, webbing for the buckles, or uh, should I, um, you know, need uh, an extra bit of webbing, I may be able to recycle some out of these but I didn't like that solution anyway because uh, it would just be you know a mismatch of colors and you know it just as I mentioned it would just look like a total repair job whereas I have these straps that came off the Italian army rucksack and they happen to have a set of buckles with them too now the fact that they're not matching. These are gray. Those are black. I'm not too um, worried about it. Like I said, this project is simply to see if I can salvage this pack with whatever uh, leftovers I have or anything that doesn't really cost me that much money. And these straps didn't really cost me that much money. And I thought to myself, these are the uh, one of the two potential real candidates simply because they're long enough to cover the entire length of the pack and uh, in that case wouldn't it be cool to have again these are strips of webbing <laughs> um off the italian pack and i thought to myself wouldn't it be cool to have the webbing for the pouches uh in camel you know matching camo as well that might actually look a lot better than having a mismatch of od and coyote brown to um to fix you know the pack if I can actually have it all in uh, all in uh, <laughs> camouflage then um, I think it would look pretty good ultimately I'm gonna have to see how much this costs uh, I am hoping nothing you know no more than 10 to 12 euros because anything more than that this project is already not worth the time uh, I might as well drive the price down and literally just sell it for scraps. 
um, sell it for parts and, uh, you know, someone out there eventually might want, um, just a large Alice, you know, uh, repaired as best as possible. I may just, um, go ahead anyway with, um, with the surface mount buckle uh, mod simply because it's the only real thing that can be done at this point that I can do myself and that doesn't cost me anything. I have the materials, you know, I could actually, that's the thing, just have fun with this pack, you know, just experiment because um, although the surface mount buckle is uh, not an option that I would have uh, initially considered simply because I don't like poking holes through the Alice um, fabric, uh, it could potentially work. Who knows? I mean, in this case, it really is the only option if uh, if you want to be able to secure those pouches down simply because two out of the three straps are missing and one is in terrible condition. So, um, yeah, it would need a makeover. So what can I say, guys? Just a quick update on uh, on this pack. And uh, I'm just going to have fun playing around with it. That's literally all that I foresee happening here. Um, whether I'm actually going to have the strips of webbing uh, sewn, you know, will all depend on the cost and uh, what I think I'll be able to sell this for. There's also... <sighs> The real issue that I'm really annoyed about is that this massive hole, I um, I kind of burnt the frayed ends out, and I don't know if I, um, if now the hole looks even bigger, I mean, the hole was pretty much like this, this big, you know, you can fit a whole finger through, it's massive, but this is why I never, ever, ever get rid of Alice webbing, even the smallest little strips, just because this is quality stuff. And I figured if it's not too expensive, just patch it up, you know. Just patch it up and uh, it'll be good to go. Uh, again, just going to see how much this all costs me. Um, otherwise, like I said, I'm just going to end up selling it as it is. After though, I played around with these simply because I might as well include them Um in, you know, the, in the pack, simply because, yeah, someone else that um, might need to use it or might need to feel like upgrading it, should I not uh, end up doing it myself with the straps, is still going to need a way to secure those um, pouches. So yeah, guys, uh, I'm thinking to myself, I've got an Italian army ruck. That is in terrible condition. As you can see, the snow collar is completely torn out. Well, that stuff is just caught up in there. Yeah, the thing is completely torn out. And uh, I got the, the frame off of it. I've got, I got the straps, the ones with the buckles that used to rest up here just to, you know, be able to tie down your um, sleeping mat or whatever. I always recycle these off the Italian army packs just because webbing and buckles, you know, and straps basically already sewn. These are gold. And uh, I'm just going to have fun now unstitching the rest of the webbing from this pack, which I believe is not even good for the resale just because it's pretty you know, torn up. I don't think I'd get um, much money for this. So at this point, what I'd rather do is literally cannibalize it. Look at all this good webbing here, you know, and it's really long. That could be used um, for this pack. And uh, yeah, it's just camo. So it would look pretty funky, I think, if I end up um, basically using camouflage webbing on this pack. Just for the sake of it, you know, because it's cheap. It doesn't cost me anything, so we'll see. We'll see. 
we'll see how this ends up looking if I um, end up repairing it with the camo webbing. But so far, the only plan that I have in mind is unstitching all of these buttons here that are useless and melting a few holes um, and then attaching the uh, surface mount buckles. Now there's, um, there's a guy on YouTube that used uh, surface mount buckles and I'll link his video in the description. Um, but basically, I'm going about it based off uh, off of his video. So what he said to do is basically use, you know, this end, and then kind of, you know, push it against the fabric, and then um, mark the edges with a sharpie, and then simply melt a few holes through. So I'm gonna try that and. Uh, yeah, just have fun. <laughs> Literally, just have fun playing around with Analysis. Whatever comes out of this is uh, definitely, it definitely can't get any worse than this. I mean, you know what I mean, guys? So, um, at this point, it's just, uh, it's just why I do this. This is my hobby. You know, I'm just going to have fun playing around with it and uh, let's see how it turns out. So, thanks for uh, watching and I'll keep you updated on this project. So uh, see you on the next one.